Today's event is a very monumentous occasion uh, because we uh, accepted officially the delivery and start time of training the newest uh, variation of the UH-60 Blackhawk, which is the UH-60 Victor or V model aircraft. The significance is, is this aircraft is newer uh, as compared to some of the older aircraft, uh, the Alpha and Lima model, and also the Mike model, in that we will be able to train the warfighter uh, in the active guard and reserve in a new aircraft that brings a, uh, another dimension to the warfighter. It's a go to war mission. It is uh, primarily a uh, troop uh, transport. Um, it is logistical transport for cargo and uh, also provides some uh, variation of command and control and communication. Um, and then also there is another variation of that which is air ambulance or medevac. Two of these aircraft are two UH-60 Victors. So to uh, uh, the lay person, if they looked at this aircraft, they say, oh, it's a Blackhawk. Yes, it's still a Blackhawk. The V designation is its model series designation, which makes it different. So it looks like a Blackhawk on the outside, but what's actually on the inner workings of it inside the cockpit, the mechanisms, the wiring is the difference. That's what brings the new capability to this aircraft. This has been a very long process. Uh, the Eastern Army National Guard Aviation Training Site, or EATS, uh, part of the Pennsylvania National Guard is a TRADOC or a training schoolhouse associated with the uh, big or active component army. Through a long process starting in 2018, we were brought into the fold based on our subject matter expertise in training this type of aircraft to be a part of a training strategy development. So as we developed the training strategy, they realized, hmm, we should probably bring this aircraft to the EATS to be our sub-proponent to train others how to use it and fly it. And the idea is that with this training strategy is we'll train senior pilots from units. They'll take that back and they'll train other pilots. So we can actually proliferate this greater. We're the beacon, we're the center. We train the trainers and they there go train their soldiers or pilots at that point. We got chosen because we've been uh, part of the process from the very beginning to develop the training strategy associated with how we would train the entire force moving forward to get to this day.